joins us online and worships with us. God bless her. Let's start with the children like we always do. And a special good morning to the children today. For the next several weeks, I'm going to be talking about gifts from God. These are gifts that God gives to our world that we can enjoy and so forth and so on. Today, the first gift I want to mention is this gift. Can you tell me what this is? It's an artist's drawing of something very, very special. Can you see that where you are? It's an artist's drawing of the sun. And I want to say a few words about the sun that shines in our sky. The sun is one of the greatest gifts that God can give to creation. And I'll tell you why. The sun is our greatest source of energy. And because of the sun, we are allowed to grow our vegetables, our plants, our flowers, and all living things. The sun nurtures all living things. And we also, of course, enjoy the sun when it comes out, don't we? We enjoy going to the beach. We enjoy going to the park. The sun brightens our day. I have a question for the children who are with us today. Do you know how far away the sun is from the planet Earth? How far away is that? Is it 50 miles away from Earth? Is the sun 100 miles away from Earth? How about this? Is the sun 500 miles away from our planet? Neither of those. Guess what? The sun is approximately 93 million miles away from us. Isn't that amazing? So the next time we have a hot day, and we've been having lots of hot days, the next time we have a hot day, you might say, gee, it's really hot considering that the sun is still 93 million miles away. And God had it all figured out because God said if the earth was a little closer to the sun, we would all burn up and we wouldn't be able to survive. Or if the earth was too far away from the sun, we would freeze to death and that wouldn't be good either. So when God designed the universe, he said, you know what? I'm going to put the planet earth at just the right distance away from the sun, even if it has to be 93 million miles away. Isn't that amazing? Now, some of you are thinking, well, today is a cloudy day. I guess the sun is not out today. No, no, the sun is still out. The sun is out every day. You just can't see it because the clouds are covering uh, us from the sun. And I'll tell you what, if you ever get a chance to go into an airplane, and if the airplane flies through the clouds, above the clouds, the sun is always shining up there, always. So I guarantee you, even though we have clouds in the sky today, our friend the sun is still shining brightly above the clouds. And uh, I don't know about you, but I really enjoy sunny days. I really do. I think the sun is a great gift from God. But I'm going to give you this warning, and I want you to listen to your parents when I say this. Make sure you put this on if you're going out into the sun. You know what this is? This is sunblock. Doesn't matter what brand you use or what style you use. They even have fancy sunblocks where you can spray it on and look real fashionable. But sunblock is good because then you won't get a sunburn or your skin won't be too overly exposed to the sun. Because they always say too much of a good thing is not a good thing. So make sure you put your sunblock on. Don't give your parents or your grandparents grief about wearing it. It's really a good thing for you. But I just want to say thank you. Thanks to God for one of the greatest gifts of all creation, the gift of our Son. Can we pray about that? Let's pray together. O oh Lord, the Son is such a great gift, and we thank you for it. It provides warmth for us, light for us. It's beautiful to see in the sky. And even when it goes down at the end of the day, the beautiful sunset is a marvel to behold. All of your creation is wonderful. And so we thank you, Lord, for the gift of the sun. And may the sun continue to brighten our days and our deeds as we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And before I quit this children's sermon, what is today? What do we call today? 
It's July 11th, right? No, I'm kidding. We call it Sunday, S-U-N, Sunday. We always get together for worship on Sunday. So think of it that way as well. God bless you at home. Amen.